welcome back everyone for some more new Super Mario Bros. U. And now we're going to be finishing off Frosted Glacier by headed to Wendy's Shifting Castle. I'm trying to think offhand, but this is the earliest we've seen Wendy in a Mario game since Super Mario Bros. 3 when she was in World 3. And to be honest with you, I don't think this castle was all that hard. I love the, the moonlight going in through the windows like that. I think that is an awesome touch. Or starlight, whatever you want to call it. It's definitely not sunlight, that's for sure. <laughs> not only do we have the swamps to contend with, but you also see the return of the swimps. Which again made their debut in Super Mario World. Now, because I've been playing a lot of Mario Maker over the past couple years, I did not realize this, but you cannot roll jump on swamps in this game. Which, needless to say, sucks. And I do manage to save myself there miraculously. The good thing about this stage is. They give you an indication where the swimps are going to land by the uh, blue section to the fourth. Well, except for this section here. I mean, they can't sh uh, hold your hand through the entire level, so they might as well throw in some difficulty, which really shouldn't be all that hard at all. I mean, yeah, I did get hit there, but that was just from carelessness, not from because this stage is hard. As long as you know how to deal with a giant swamp, getting that star coin shouldn't be that hard. Points. And you're already at the boss door. Now it's time to take on Wendy O. Koopa. Yeah, it's like I said before, I kind of wish they would have, would have done something different with these airship scenes. I mean. I mean, it's cool the first couple times, but after a while, it gets kind of old. And I have to say, Wendy is my least favorite Koopa Link. But if you have the Fire Flower here, she should be easy enough to deal with. And that's what I do here, I don't even bother trying to jump on her, I just pelt her with Fireball. Of course, her main attack is sending out her rings, which she is famous for. With the exception of Super Mario World. She didn't have a ring, she had a, a pair of um, powder bows that made things hard for the player, but... Yeah, I would strongly suggest having a fire flower in this fight. In order to get rid of her quickly. Even if you don't, you can stomp on her three times, but with the ice, that can cause some problems, so... But thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.